Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jadash and today we will be reviewing all the cards that have been released in English in the Digimon TCG so far. Uh, so before we, we start, we're going to uh, begin with some basics in case you are new to the game like I am, so that we're all on the same level. So uh, first of all, let's try uh, explaining the cards or the card frame. Uh, this is the play cost, the cost that you have to cost in order to play the card directly. This is the Digivolution cost. This is the level of the card, the name, and the this is the Digimon power, the DP. Uh, this is the specification of the card, whether it's a Digimon or a Digi Egg or a Tamer or an option card. Uh, this is the card code or the uh, the card number, and this is the rarity. So let's try speaking about rarities. Uh, cards in Digimon come in six rarities. Common, Uncommon, Rare, Super Rare, Secret Rare, and then the Parallel Arts. So uh, to, in order to identify cards, we will there are like small similarities or differences between the cards in which you have to know in order to be able to identify the cards. Uh, first of all is the stamp, of course, the rarity stamp, which uh, C is for common, U is for uncommon, R is for rare, SR is for super rare, uh, SEC I believe is for secret, and for parallel arts, I'm not sure we're going to check it out as we go. So um, uh, common cards do not have any indications. Th they're the same as uncommon. So for example, we have uh, Monodrum on her which, here, which is a common, and we have Biomon, which is an uncommon. As you can see, there is like no visual difference except for the rarity stamp. Uh, then come the uh, the rares, which are the entry levels for the for rarities for cards. They are uh, they have a thin golden inline border, and the level is printed out in in gold. So that's for the rares. For the super rares, uh, they have they are. Th this is also the next level for rarities. They are uh, fully foiled, both borders and the artwork, uh, but they do not have the golden lining or the golden print. Uh, after the super rares come the secret rares. Uh, let's try to find a secret rare here. Uh, the first thing that you're trying to look in in a card to identify it as a secret rare is its gold border. So ah, l we have here Metal Greymon. Look at the border. If you can see it here, it has a golden outline, and then it has the golden inline and the golden print. So these are the secret rares, and of course all of the card details are here on the right, so you can always check them out anytime, and I will be giving you the website in the description of the video below. Uh, so after the secret rares come the parallel arts. There are multiple types of parallel arts, so we have for example this one. Uh, this is a secret rare alternative art. Uh, it's a little bit different as you can see, the cost itself looks different and the stamp here is not golden. Uh, I believe this might be a tribute to the old uh, TCG. Uh, some others, some other secret rares have uh, normal uh, normal characteristics such as this one. See this one is a secret rare uh, powerful art, but it does have the golden border and the golden print. So now that we're done with the rarities, let's, try, let's start uh, checking out the cards themselves. So, so far, there has been two booster sets that have been released in in, uh, in English. Uh, the release special booster box version 1.0 and the release special booster version 1.5. And the three starter decks, Gaia Red, uh, Kokaido's Blue, and Heaven's Yellow. So let's start with the special booster uh, 1.0. We have, of course, two DGX per color. So the first DGX for the red is Yokomon. Uh, when you attack an opponent's Digimon, this Digimon gets plus 1000 DP for the turn. Uh, it's not really good, but for starters, it's not bad. Uh, while this, uh, then we have baby, uh, baby Domon. Okay. Uh, while this Digimon has piercing, it gets plus two thousand DP. Uh, you can also check out all the uh, keywords uh, on our website. Uh, I will also be giving you the the link in the description below in order to search for it anytime. And anytime that you need also to look for certain specifics, as I sp as I uh, stated before, you will have all the specifications on the right here. So we have the two DG eggs for the red. Um, to be honest, they're not that much, but for starters, as I said, everything is acceptable for now. Uh, you just have to start building decks and see what works and what doesn't work and which style of play you like most. So uh, for the, the first DG egg for the blue color is Upamon. Uh, when attacking, once per turn, if your opponent has a Digimon with no Digivolution cards in play, trigger, draw one card. Uh, this is a good effect because the blue deck is based on uh, removing the Digivolution cards uh, of your opponent, the Digivolution materials. So drawing one card is always welcome, so I think Upamon is really good. Uh, next we have one Iamon. Uh, while your opponent has two or more Digimon with no Digivolution cards in play, this Digimon gets plus 2000. 
you don't always find your opponent having two Digimon with two Digivolutions, and plus 2000 isn't that big of a deal, you know, so we can use other useful stuff like Upamon here, which gives you a draw for one card, so it's always useful. So next we go into the yellow cards, uh, we have Kyaromon, uh, all you have 6 or more security cards, this Digimon gets plus 2000, plus 2000 uh, DP. Uh, yellow is a, is, um, uses a certain strategy in which uh, it's called recovery. Uh, you always recover cards uh, in your security, so you most probably will always try to find yourself having 6, secu six security cards. Uh, the next one is Cupimon, uh, one attacking if you have five or more security cards, trigger draw one card. Uh, as I said, uh, the uh, yellow uses a recovery method uh, or recovery abilities, so they usually always have good security amounts, but f six and five are considered a little bit high. If we are speaking about three or four, it would be better, but for starters, as I stated, uh, draw one is really good, so you might be using Cupimon and even Caramon. Uh, for green, we have uh, Tenemon. Uh, when attacking, if you've digivolved this turn, this Digimon gets plus 1000 DP for a turn. Eh, uh, not too shabby. Uh, Freemon, uh, while your opponent has two or more suspended Digimon in play, this Digimon gets plus 2000. Uh, also, uh, the opponent is not going to be leaving their Digimon un, uh, like suspended for a lot, and they get the, the if you, like, at one turn find that they have two suspended pro uh, Digimon, they will be uh, unsuspending them, however, and there's also a keyword called Reboot, in which their Digimon unsuspend themselves, so you will be using this effect a lot. Uh, now for red, now we're going up to in rookies. Uh, there's also something that I forgot to identify in the cards. There are certain keywords here under the name, sometimes that you find them, and they're also listed here. The type, uh, type which is called here Mini Dragon, and then there's the attribute, which is Vaccine, and the stage level. So uh, the first stage level is is in training, uh, or, which is for the DGX, they're called in training, and then they go for two rookies. So, uh, Monodramon is a uh, two cost, which is good because sometimes uh, if you have uh, lots of rookies in your hand, you can go for a certain uh, strategy, which is called Rookie Rush, which in which you keep uh, summoning uh, rookies in order to attack with them uh, as fast as you can, in order to security check your opponent uh, earlier in the game. So, and then we go to Agumon. Agumon is a rare, and it has a, an on-play effect, uh, but it costs 3, but even though, it's still good, because you reveal 5 cards from the top of your deck, add one Tamer card among them to your hand, and place the remaining cards uh, on the bottom of your deck. Um, uh, just on a side note, uh, in Digimon, there is nothing that lets you shuffle the deck yet. So, so far, anything that tells you to put cards on the bottom of your deck, you're not going to be seeing those cards again. So, it's not a really uh, bad uh, drawback. Uh, still, it is going to be balanced when if you use a lot of cards that reveal 5 cards and allow you to add, so it's not really too bad. Alright, so now that we're up to speed with the basics, let's start speeding it up a little bit. We're just going to be reading the cards that have effects and uh, check if they're good or usable or not. So there's Agumon Expert, return one Digimon card with Agumon and its name from your recycle bin to your hand. Uh, good because there is no recycling, but uh, it's an on-play effect, so you're going to cost 3 for 1000 DP, uh, you're not going to be using it unless it's just an on-play card. Uh, Biomon, when this card, when this Digimon is blocked, it gets plus 2000 DP. Uh, no, when you get blocked, you don't want DP, you want either to unsuspend or to get memory. Uh, no effects, no effects, 1 cost 3, oh, five, oh okay, 5k, this is good, on-play for 3 cost for 5000 DP is not bad, it's good for rookie rushing. Uh, Kokatriamon, no effect, Greymon, ooh. Uh, this Digimon gets plus 2000 to be inheritable effect, uh, okay, 4-2, 4k, not bad, it's basic. Tyrannomon, uh, this Digimon can, ah, uh, okay, it's jamming. Uh, basically jamming is when you security check, if the Digimon in the secu if the security Digimon has more DP, your Digimon gets deleted, so jamming allows you to not get defeated, uh, so it's also good for, for rookie rushing as well. Uh, not rookie rushing, so this is an evolution, uh, I think it's champion, yeah, it's a champion, so... This is good for rushing, basically. On play, uh, one of your Digimon gains security, plus one. Okay, so on play security, also good for rushing, Bergamon. Uh, Flare Rizomon, uh, while you have three or more memory, this this Digimon gains security attack, plus one. Uh, you always find yourself starting at three memory sometimes, even if you have those tamers that give you, that, t that always make you start at three memory, so it's good to have a security plus one also, but for him, uh, with the 4 DP, uh, it's like it's going to be most probably a one-time thing, so it's not too shabby. Talk to Animal, no effect. Uh, ground Animal, no effect. 
uh, Metal Greymon. Ah, this is in the in the starter deck. Uh, gain three, I think. Gain three memory at the end of lose two. Ah, oh, no, sorry. This is not from the the starter deck. The one in the starter deck is kind of different. It's a little bit different. So it's also basic. Uh, Garudamon. Uh, piercing. Okay, so piercing is good. When this Digimon attacks and deletes an opponent's Digimon and survives the battle, performs a security check. So piercing and security plus one. If you have those two keywords, it's oh, it's it's destruction. It's destruction, and it even has an inheritable effect. When this Digimon is blocked, trigger draw one card. So this card is really good. You have piercing and you have an inheritable effect to draw one when blocked, which is really good. So. Next is uh, Skull Greymon. Delete one of your opponent's Digimon with blocker on play. Wow. On play, delete uh, a blocker. Okay, so it's good for defeating blockers, but if your opponent plays a deck like black, uh, black decks basically have lots of blockers. So if you delete one of them, it won't like change a thing, but if you're playing another deck that does not have lots of blockers, it's really good. Uh, Metal Tyrannomon, no, no effects. War Greymon, ah, oh, I love this guy. When Digivolving, this Digimon gains security, security attack plus one. Uh, for this turn, uh, your turn. This Digimon cannot activate security skills on option cards, so it's really good. It's ja it jams. It's something like jamming, but for option cards. So you cannot, uh, you cannot activate option cards only during your turn when security skills. Okay. Uh, next is uh, War Greymon. Ah, uh, yeah. This is the alternate art. The same one. Uh, the alternate art looks actually really nice. Really sick. Uh, next is Break Drumon. Uh, piercing. Okay, so it only has piercing, and it's oh my god, I love and DPU. Look at the play cost. Okay, not too shabby. Armadrillomon, uh, Elecmon, uh, Gabomon. No effects. Oh, Gomomon. Gain one memory on deletion. Uh, not bad. Gaining one memory is is good. It's not really bad, but there might be. Other other rookies with other effects that you might want to be using. When an opponent's Digimon attacks, you may suspend. Oh, it's okay. It's a blocker. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so th this is a fast blocker in blue. Nice. A rookie that is a blocker. Okay, that's good. Uh, jamming. Okay. Yeah. This uh, this ah uh, this guy's also good. I've seen play of this guy. He like he goes early on. Also, as I said, for the rush. Uh, you go, you go early on, and you jam your your opponent's security cards. Uh, Dolphmon, uh, while your opponent has a Digimon with no Digivolution cards in play, this Digimon gets plus one thousand. Uh, still not too good. Uh, Ikakumon, uh, this Digimon can be blocked by your opponent's Digimon with no Digivolution cards. Oh, this is this is nice because uh, as I said, Blue plays on removing the Digivolution material. On the leashing, gain two memory. This guy's good. Leomon, oh. To be three types. <laughs> now, on play, unsuspend one of your Digimon. Not bad. Uh, Gorilla Mon, no ability, no effect. Monzaimon, ah, Kerberos Mon, or Cerberus Mon. When attacking twice per turn, you can unsuspend this Digimon by trashing three cards in your hand. Uh, I still haven't seen cards that activate effects when they're trashed from the hand. If such cards do exist or uh, happen to be available for a blue for a blue deck to play this is going to be broken because it's 6k and can attack three times because twice per turn you can unsuspend it so it's gonna be really good uh, when attacking game through ah oh, yes this this effect is seen a lot on a lot of Digimon uh, I'm still not sure how it exactly works but I can see it as being as being used a lot on play trigger draw two cards oh god it's really good if your opponent has a Digimon with no digivolution cards in play gain one memory when attacking wow Attack and gain memory? That is broken. Uh, oh, oh, look at this guy. This is a level 5, an ultimate with 10k DP. 10k is, is high, if you don't know about it. When Digivolution, trash 4 Digivolution cards under one of your opponent's Digimon. Oh, nice bad trash 4. Okay, but it says under 1. If this was separation, oh my god, this would be this would be seeing much, much more play. Uh, oh, Metal Garumon. When attacking, play one level 4 or lower Digimon card under this card as another Digimon while playing without playing its memory cost. Uh, it's basically like Kaiser's Nail. Uh, uh, I'm sure you, we're going to see it because it's in the blue deck, but it's basically when attacking, so. And no cost, so it's much better. This is the same but an alternate artwork as you can see. Uh, it's Kaimon, Kudamon. Uh, think, oh, the Kudamon has an effect. If you have four or less cards in your hand, trigger draw one card when attacking. So you basically just throw him out just to draw one card. Uh, uh, I don't know. Not sure about it. Uh, on play, reveal, f reveal four cards from the top of your deck. Add all yellow tamer cards and mock them to your hand. Place the remaining cards on the bottom. So it's the same as Agumon, as Agumon from here. You, but this one, this guy reveals five cards. This guy reveals four cards. 
Okay, uh, Labramon. Uh, when an opponent's Digimon is deleted by dropping to zero, trigger draw a card. Oh, yes, this guy could be an engine played in, in yellow decks because yellow decks play on decreasing DP of Digimon. And uh, once a Digimon's DP uh, reaches zero, it gets deleted. Uh, Repomon. Oh, Caesarmon. Uh, this Digimon. Oh, okay, it's jamming. It's just jamming. Okay, normal. Uh, Darkmon. When you play a level 3 yellow Digimon, if this Digimon is suspended, trigger draw one card. Uh, it's not even a blocker, so uh, you have to attack with it and it has to survive in order to be able to trigger the draw one card. And it's also once? It's not once, but uh, I think it is. Uh, I'll have to check later. Uh, Leomon, uh, when attacking, if you have 3 or more memory, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 2000. Okay, uh, good for the strategy of yellow. Uh, on play, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 1000, minus 3000. On play, this is what you're looking for. On play, minus DP. On play, minus DP. Uh, or, on or on evolution also. Uh, you may play one Tinkermon from your hand or recycle bin. Uh, okay, is this this is Petermon. Where is Tinkermon? Uh, I think this one, yeah. You may play it with what? Uh, recycle bin? Without playing its memory cost from the from the bin. Okay, so you get two Digimon. Uh, Sidermon. Oh, Kidermon. Gain three. Uh, okay, see, this is what I was talking about. Uh, lo lots of Digimon have this effect. Gain three memory at the end, lose three memory. I'm still not sure how good it is, so I'll have to check and maybe I'll be uh, explaining it, explaining some strategies in a different video. Uh, on play, trigger. Uh, here's what we saw that we were speaking about. Uh, recovery. Uh, you place the top card of your deck onto your security stack. So basically, even if your opponent keeps, keeps attacking you, keeps security checking you, you just keep on recovery. Uh, this Digimon gets plus 1000 DP for every 3 security cards you have. Eh, not too shabby for an inheritable effect, but a very good on play effect. Uh, okay. Trigger, recovery, ah, uh, yes. Uh, on play, trigger, recovery, plus 1. Magnumon, uh, oh, this is the same. Oh, why did I see it? Uh, it's the same, but it's just an alternate artwork. Mistymon, 2 of your opponent's Digimon get minus 3 for this. To oh my god. 2 Digimon get minus 3. Nice 3000. Really, really nice. Uh, okay, slash Angemon. One of your opponent's Digimon gets minus eight. Oh, what? Oh my god. <laughs> this is basically delete. This is basically delete. Unless it's an ultimate, you just delete it. Uh, this is Seraphimon. Uh, when Digivolving trigger recovery. Uh, your turn, you have three or more security cards. This Digimon gains security plus one. Wow. Wow, not bad. This, I think this is... Uh, oh, no, it's not the same. Uh, the one is the one in the Sarder deck. The Sarder deck cannot have such a broken thing. Uh, on play, reveal three cards from the top of your deck. Add one level four Digimon card from among them to your hand. Please remaining cards on the top. Okay, so it's basically the same effect for yellow and green. Everything has something like that. Oh, Coco Woman. Uh, well, this Digimon is level six or higher. Again, security attack plus one. Uh, you don't see much level so Oh my god, I remember this Ogremon. Oh my god. Jamming. Hey, good to see this guy. Kabuterimon. Uh, this Digimon gets plus 1000 for every suspended Digimon your opponent has. Uh, it's good for a retaliation, man. If you like, if he attacks you with three different Digimon and you try to retaliate, you just remove all of them. If I remember correctly, there's a keyword called retaliate. I'm not speaking about that. Uh, just if you're concerned, uh, reveal three cards from the top of your deck at one level five or higher. Oh, when did you evolving? Okay, so green has double searching effects. Gain three memory at the end, lose three. Yep, the same effect. Uh, if your opponent has two or more suspended Digimon, gain one memory when attacking. Wow, okay. Up till now, green is the best of all colors that I've seen in this booster box. When this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle, survives, gain one memory. Again, well... Okay, reveal three cards from the top of your deck. You can Digivolve this card into one level six green Digimon card among them without playing its memory. What? Oh my god. Oh my, no cost, no cost for Digivolving. Green wins so far, guys. Uh, when attacking, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon without blocker. Okay, you can suspend it, uh, but you cannot suspend the blocker because this would be broken. Oh, look at this. Look at this artwork. Titanmon. Uh, Hercules Kabuta Kabuterimon. Uh, when this Digimon attacks and deletes... Oh, it's piercing. Okay, so it has piercing. And end of attack twice per turn. You can unsuspend this Digimon by decreasing your memory by three. Wow. Twice per turn, if you have lots of memory, just keep on piercing. Just keep on piercing. With 10 KDP, not too shabby. Rosemon? Well, when an opponent's Digimon attacks a player, if this Digimon is suspended, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Ooh, 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 ooh. The alternate artwork. And Omni, here he is. Here he is. The star of it all. Look at the price. Look at the price of this guy. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> when Digivolving, choose one of your opponent's Digimon. Delete all of your opponent's Digimon that share a name with it. Oh my god. Delete. To delete. 
When attacking, you can unsuspend this Digimon by returning one of this Digimon's level 6 Digimon. So it can attack twice once, one time, and choose, and when Digivolving, delete. Delete a non, so it's Gaia Force. This is the ultimate artwork. Uh, tie, oh, now for the Tamers, Ty. Uh, start every turn if you have two or less memory, set your memory to three. This is what I was talking about. Uh, you usually, when you play these tamers, the four cost tamers, you find yourself always starting with a minimum of three memory. Uh, all of your red Digimon with four or more div Digivolution cards gain security plus one. Oh my god. This is really good. And this is, I think, the alternate artwork. Uh, oh, it's a promo. Okay, so this is the promo artwork. Not bad. Let's see, Matt. If you have to, okay. Uh, when you play a blue Digimon, you can suspend this timer to trash the bottom Digivolution card of one of your opponents. Okay. When you play a blue Digimon, suspend this timer. Okay, you suspend them and remove. So it's basically it helps the purpose of the blue decks. You you keep trashing the Digivolutions. Uh, look at your security stack, then reveal one card in it and add it to your hand. Oh my God! If this card is yellow, trigger. <laughs> if that card is yellow, trigger recovery plus one. So you reveal it. Look at your stack, take one card, and if it's yellow, it's just basically just recovery. You take one of your uh, security cards and place an option card, basically, or a or a really strong one in order to defend yourself. Uh, if you have a level 5 or higher green Digimon in play, you can suspend this tamer to reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is a Digimon card, add it to your hand, otherwise wait it at the bottom. Yeah, not too bad for Izzy, but I personally prefer to always have a first effect of setting your memory to 3, because... If you find yourself limited to one memory, your actions are all mostly limited. And there, are, there's I have not seen much cards that make you gain memory, such as the the blue option in the starter deck. Uh, I don't remember what it was called. I think it was called Spark Hammer. Uh, there's not much cards like that. So if you're stuck with one memory, mostly your turn is just limited to one move. Uh, I haven't read the effect. Sorry. If you have a level five or higher green Digimon in play, you can suspend the tamer to hatch one DJ card to an empty space in your breeding area, or move one level three or higher. Digimon from your beat. Oh my god. So you you take one of the actions that you can only do one per one per turn and you can't do the other on the next turn. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know how this is used, but it sounds good. Too good. Main. Gain two memory at the end of the turn and lose two memory. See, so this is cause this is what I was talking about. Gravity Crush gives you two memory, but at the end you lose two memory. I'm still not sure about the gain and lose effects, but the only card that I have seen so far that gives you memory without uh, setting a cost is Spark Hammer. Uh, what is this? Nuclear Laser. Uh, trigger, draw two. Then one of your Digimon gets plus two, plus two thousand. Okay, this is not bad. Draw two and give two thousand for a three cost. It's not really bad. Now, uh, what do we have next? Uh, oh, Great Tornado. Uh, one of your Digimon gets plus two thousand and security attack plus one. Oh, for the turn. This can be good for 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 quick attacks. Uh, Oblivion Bird, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with Blocker. Oof. So this is this is the option card for a Skull. What was this, what was it called? Skull, Skull something. Uh, Skull Greymon, yeah, Skull Greymon. So it's it's basically does the same, but on the shape of an option, other than playing him. Uh, one of your Digimon gets plus three thousand. Not bad. And there's a secure. Oh, I forgot reading the security pad. Trigger, draw one card, then add this card to your hand. Okay. Uh, the others, uh, mainly option cards, activate the main effect of the cards unless they state otherwise. So this trigger, draw one card, but this trigger, draw two cards, but then the cards go, the card goes to the trash pile. So it's better to see this card in your security, uh, rather in your hand, because uh, for one cost you draw, but this for no cost you draw two cards. Uh, ooh, anything. Uh, if you don't, if you don't know, I'm a big fan for the for the Vmon line. Anything that has V in it, I love it. So you can expect how how much I love this card. Uh, one of your Digimon gains jamming. Okay, and security add this card to your hand. Not activate the effect. Okay, battle. Uh, trash all Digivolution cards under one of your opponent's Digimon. Oh my god, this is this is the sir, this is the reason for the blue deck trashing something from everything. Uh, main trigger draw one card trigger draw one for every two security cards you have uh, This is yellow, right? Okay, so This is very situational, but in in yellow it can be stacked so it can be used very wisely activate this cards main effect, okay? Okay, next is golden ripper uh, all of your Digimon gain the following effects for a turn when attacking one of your opponents you got spawn Oh wow, but it does not have ah uh, does not have if it's if this had an effect here for a security check until the next turn it would be broken oh my god imagine it blast fire change the original dp of one of your opponents Digimon to 3000 
So <laughs> you play this if you have a cost four and you play Angemon. Was it Angemon? And you just basically delete delete one of them. One of your opponent's Digimon gets minus ten. Ouch. Oh my god. Ouch. This hurts. It hurts. <laughs> One of your Digimon gets plus three. So I'll suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Okay, so it works basically on suspending your opponent. Smash potatoes. For the turn, the next time you would digivolve one of your green Digimon from level five to level six, decrease the di the digivolution cost by four. Okay, so two for four. So basically, you just digivolve for the cost of two instead of the cost of four or four less. Okay, not bad. Uh, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon again. Well, uh, suspend all of your opponent's Digimon without blocker. Oof. Oh my god, Flower Cannon. Flower Cannon. And this is the alternate artwork. It looks so good, guys. So good. Uh, Giga Blaster. Suspend one of your opponent's Digimon or two of your opponent's Digimon with 5,000 DB. So you choose. Either you suspend one, you suspend two with 5k or less. Activate this card's main effect. Oh. This card's really good. Dimension Scissor. Uh, one of your Digimon gains the following effects for the turn. When this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle, survives unsuspended. Uh, until the end of your opponent's next turn, one of your opponent's Digimon cannot attack or block. Okay, so, so your opponent's Digimon don't unsuspend during their turn. Oof! Oh my god, what, what's wrong with the green deck? What's wrong with the green deck? Now, Greymon, this card checks two additional security. Security attack plus two. Wow, this card on attack sees three cards, so basically it's a win condition. Lose, but oh, but you lose five memory. Oh, okay, so you check three, you lose five memory. It's basically the win or die strategy. If you have a tamer in play, unsuspend this Digimon once per turn. Ah, uh, 6k, not bad. While you have a blue tamer in play, this Digimon gets plus 1000. Okay, this is the alternate artwork for it. As I said, I'm a big Vmon uh, line uh, fan, so I really love this card. <laughs> you might think I'm biased or something, but no. Kapurimon. Oh, well, this Digimon has a reboot. It gets plus 1,000. Uh, lots of black Digimon have reboot, actually, and blocker, so it's not bad. Well, you have another Digimon in play with the same name as this Digimon. This Digimon gets plus 2,000 DP. Uh, Pokemon. Uh, purple. Trash the top card of your deck when attacking. Uh, I think some cards work while they are in the trash pile in purple. I haven't played purple before, so I don't know how it works. Uh, while well, you have five or more cards in your trash, this Digimon get uh, see, see if you trash, if you have lots of trash Digimon in in your trash pile, you gain like you gain extra effects. So this is a starter effect. Hey, Gilmon, I love this artwork. It looks really good. Well, there are five or more cards in your opponent's trash. This Digimon gets plus one thousand DP, and eh, not too shabby. Here we go, Growlmon. Uh, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with three thousand or less DP. Okay, so this might work with the with the yellow. Or Growlmon. If you have a red tamer in play, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 3000 DP or less. It does work with yellow. While there are five or more cards in your opponent's trash, this Digimon gets plus 1000. Oof. Okay, uh, Vol- Oh, Volcanic Dramon. Oh my god, but what is wrong with this artwork? It's so- it, it hurts my eyes! Uh, so we have security plus one and on play, delete all of your digi all of your opponent's Digimon with 4000 or less DP. Galatmon! Hey, one of the Royal Knights when digivolving. If you have a red tamer in play, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 6,000 DP or Oof. Trash one of your opponent's security cards for every 10 cards in their trash. If you're playing against purple, <laughs> he most probably loses with one attack. And this is the alternate artwork. Look at it, guys. Look at it. What do we have here? Uh, Metal Seedramon. Return up to two of your opponent's level four or lower Digimon to their hands and trash the rest. This Digimon can be blocked by your opponent's Digimon with no Digivolution cards. Wow. Okay. Magna Dramon. Ooh, I like it. If you have three or fewer security cards, recovery plus two. Recovery plus two. I like the different uh, battle styles of, of the of the decks. So it's it's really good to also test the variety of decks, guys, so that you find the. The one that you like most, and the one that you want to play most. Uh, you may play one yellow level 3 Digimon card from your hand without paying its memory cost when attacking. Okay. Not bad for a rush also. Oh, green Agumon. This Digimon gets plus 1000. Uh, Tyrannomon. Reveal three cards from the top of your deck. Add one level 5 Digimon card. And one green Tamer card among them to your hand. Oof. So, as far as I've seen, green is the one that has the most surge effects, and it also works on suspending your opponent's Digimon. Metal Tyrannomon Green. When this Digimon deletes one of your opponent's level 6 or higher Digimon in play, unsuspend this Pokemon. Eh, not too good. 
When I post Digimon, oh, blocker. Okay, so this is a blocker with seven. Oops. Play cost eight, ouch. Okay, uh, ooh, Puppetmon. I remember this guy. Uh, on play, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon during your opponent's next uh, suspend phase. None of your opponent's Digimon can unsuspend when attacking gain one memory. So the work on gaining your, gaining memory and suspending your opponent's Digimon. Uh, oh, Rust Tyranimon. When you have a green tamer in play, this Digimon can attack your opponent's unsuspended Digimon. When this Digimon deletes one of your opponent's Digimon in battle and survives, suspend one of your... Oof. Two complementary effects. When you have a green tamer in play, this Digimon can attack your opponent's unsuspended Digimon. Two complementary effects. Not bad. Hagurumon no effect. Oh, Kinemon. Uh, when you play another Digimon with the same name as this Digimon, trigger draw one card. If you play, so you basically can draw up to three. Okay, uh, when an opponent's Digimon attacks, oh, it's a blocker. Okay, when attacking, lose two memory. So it's a 3k blocker. As I, as I stated, uh, most, most blockers come from the black color. They have lots of blockers in their archetype, in their color. Uh, reboot for Toy Agumon. Waymon. Uh, while this Digimon has reboot, it gains jamming. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. They have jamming and reboot. And if they get a security plus one, oof, you're dead. You are dead. Uh, Grisarimon. When you play another Digimon with the same name as the Digimon, gain one memory. Uh, Mega Drummon. That looks good. Andromon. Uh, blocker. Just a blocker. Uh,. Infermon, when this Digimon digivolves into a Diaboromon in your hand, reduce the memory cost of the Digivolution by one. Uh, okay, but very specific. Unless there's there are good uh, Diaboromon, uh, you I don't think you will be playing this card. Metal Greymon Black reboot, see reboot, and when this Digimon has reboot, it gains security plus one. Ah, <sighs> ah. Uh. Hi, Andromon. Uh, War Greyman. This is the Black War Greyman. This was actually pulled in our store, and I think I have a, a picture of it. I'll be showing it later. It has blocker and reboot, so. And it has a level K, so you can attack, and you can block, and you reboot. So it's really good. Really good for black decks. Uh, Machine Drummond. Uh, blocker and on play. DD Digivolve 2. This is a new keyword. Uh, trash up to two cards from the top. Of one of your opponent's Digimon, if it has no Digivolution cards or becomes a level three, you can trash. You can trash any more cards. Okay. Um. You, so you keep Digivolving until it becomes a level three. Uh, Demi Devimon, uh, Impmon, trash the top three cards of your deck on deletion. Uh, Gabumon Purple. Ooh, trigger, draw two cards on deletion, then trash one card from your hand. Okay. So draw two. It's card one. The Pyramon. Oh, lots of people use this trigger to draw one card and to delete it. You just play it. And then you attack with it, and then you basically take out one security card, and it dies, and you draw one card. Lots of people play this card for this. Ah, Wizard Mon. All turns. If you have a yellow Digimon in play, this Digimon gains a retaliation. When this Digimon is deleted, after losing a battle, they delete the, de the Digimon it was battling. So this is the query that I was talking about, retaliation. Trigger, draw one card on deletion. Wow. Okay. Purple actually has a really nice playstyle. I might like it. This is the blocker for purple. Garurumon, uh, once per turn. Uh, when one of your other Digimon is deleted, gain one memory. Mm. Hey, Devimon. Uh, when this okay, this is retaliation, and it's a level 4. When the Digimon is deleted after losing a battle, dele oh, okay, so it's retaliation and it gives retaliation. Oof. I think this might be a core card in the decks. Oh, my toes. My, ah, my to. My o My Otis? What? My Otis mod? Okay. Pumpkinmon. A trigger draw two, then trash. Okay, so I think blue plays on drawing and retaliation. You may delete on delete one of your other Digimon to delete one of your opponent's level five or lower Digimon. Oh. Sounds sounds evil. We're Greymon, here we are. Uh, you may delete one of your other Digimon to unsuspend this Digimon when attacking. You delete ugh. You play this guy and keep deleting him just to draw. Uh, Venom, Venom, my to my again. I can't. We why can't I read this? Myotisma, my Venom, myotisma. <laughs> Security attack plus one, and on your opponent's turn, when one of your opponent's Digimon becomes suspended, gain one memory. Oof. So if he attacks, he might be risking losing his turn. Paidmon, retaliation, and on play you 
play you may play up to two level four or lower purple Digimon cards from your trash without paying their memory cost. Any on play effects on Digimon play this effect don't activate. You have to pay twelve in order to activate this. Oh my god. It's very risky. It's very risky. This is the alternate artwork for it. How much longer? Uh, not much longer. Uh, Metal Garurumon, you may play one purple level 3 Digimon card from your trash without paying its memory cost. Any on-play effects on Digimon played with this effect, I want to activate. Okay. And this is the alternate artwork. Diaboromon, here we are. Uh, when attacking, you may play one Diaboromon token without paying its memory cost. Diaboromon tokens are level 6 white Digimon with a memory cost of 14. 3000 DP and our mega form. Unidentified type and unknown attribute. All turns. When this Digimon would be deleted in battle, you may delete one of your other Diaboro Mon to prevent this Digimon from being deleted. So basically, he summons a, a token, and the token can be deleted instead of him to survive. Okay, that's white. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what the rule for the white cards was. I might be. Reviewing it later. Uh, when did you evolving return one of your opponent's Digimon to the bottom of the of their deck? Ooh, on deletion. Uh, this card had Digivolution cards. You may play this card from your trash without picking its memory. Oh, this is a good investment for your Digivolutions or Digivolution material. So if it's if it gets deleted, it can summon itself back again. Oh, Sora. When one of your red Digimon attacks a player, you may suspend this timer to give that Digimon plus 2,000 DP. When it attacks a player, very situational. Joe. Well, when one of your opponent's Digivolution cards is trashed, you may suspend this tamer to gain one memory. Play this card without paying its memory cost. That's basically for all tamers. Oh, Cody. If you have three or fewer security cards, gain one memory. Okay, this is Cody. Ooh, look at the color. These are the promos. Oh, Taiga. Uh, your turn. All of your Digimon with Tyranimon in their names gain piercing. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, when digivol when digivolving one of your Digimon into a Digimon card in your hand with Tyranimon in its name, you may suspend this tamer to reduce the memory cost of Digivolution by one. So this is basically just for Tyranimon decks, I believe. Oh, Ty Black. If you have two, okay. So the basic uh, ability for the cost for cost uh, tamers, all of your Black Digimon get plus thousand during your opponent's turn. Oh, oh not bad. Good for blockers. Uh, okay, return one purple Digimon card or purple option card from your trash to your hand on play. Yee, recycling. Radiation Blade. Uh, up to two of your Digimon gain security attack plus one. Mm. Okay, oops. Uh, Shield of Just. Delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 5,000 DP or less. If you have a Red Tamer in play, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 8,000. Oh, cost six. Ah, River of Power, return up to three of your opponent's level three Digimon to their hand. Threshold of Digivolution, okay. Return one of your opponent's suspended Digimon to the bottom of their deck. Trash all the Devolution cards. What? Oh, okay, cost seven. That's why. It costs a lot to be playing that. Uh, main one of your Digimon gets plus 3,000. Unsuspend one of your Digimon with Blocker. Eh, not too shabby. Uh, unsuspend one of your Digimon again and sus oh unsuspend all of your Digimon with blocker and they get plus five thousand DP. Yeah, because this stops him from attacking. Oh my, basically, if you have a blocker. Uh, trigger D D Digivolve on one of your opponent's Digimon. Did you evolve one? Okay, and activate this card's main effect. Ah, not bad. Infinity Cannon. Trigger D Digi. Oh, did you evolve four? Oof. Activate this card's main effect. Oof, this is this is this on steroids. One of your Digimon gets plus 3000 DP, basic. Oh, Heat Viper. You may delete one of your Digimon to delete up to two of your opponent's level 4 or lower Digimon. There's a better version of this card, I've seen it. Uh, play one purple level 3 Digimon card from your trash without paying its memory cost. Any on play effects on the Digimon played with this effect don't activate. Okay. So in the, ver the, in the version of an option card, delete one of your opponent's unsuspended Pokemon. Unsuspended. Delete. Hey, isn't this like Gaia Force? I'm not sure. While you have 10 or more cards in your trash, your Impmon can digivolve into this card in your hand for a memory cost of 4. When digivolving, delete one of your opponent's level 4 or lower Digimon. Ouch. Ouch. This is why people like Bilzamon. This is why. This is, it, it, it is good. It is really good. What is this? Leopardmon? 
Ooh. Uh, you may play one level 4 or lower Digivolution card of, of one of your Digimon cards as another Digimon without paying its memory cost. All of your level 4 or lower Digimon gain jamming. Okay, it's blue. Hey, hey. This is the alternate artwork. Uh, this is Kentaramon. Uh, when Digivolving up to 5 of your opponent's Digimon gain... What? Wait, what? Up to 5 of your opponent's Digimon gain security minus 2. Oh, okay, security minus 2. Uh, on the leash, of your opponent's Digimon gets minus... Minus 11k, what? So on the leash, basically, it's, it's retaliation. Why don't you just say retaliation? Uh, Chumon, when your opponent gains memory except with the Tamer. Your opponent cannot gain memory except with Tamer effects. This can, this can count on green. Uh, this Digimon cannot be blocked by your opponent's Digimon. This Digimon gets plus 2000. Tsukaimon gain one memory. And Devidramon gain one memory on deletion. Okay. Uh, I'll play reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one option card from among them to your hand. Trash the remaining. Trash! Don't add. Hey, Boltmon. Looks good. Big Hulk guy. Hey, Lilithmon! When digivolving, if you have 10 or more cards in your trash, you may return up to two purple option cards from your trash to your hand. Recycling effect. Once per turn, when you use an option card, gain two memory. Ho ho ho! Ho ho! Okay. This is the full art. Uh, last two cards. Main trigger D digivolve one of your opponent's Digimon. Uh, okay. Then, if that Digimon's play cost is 4 or less, delete it. Okay, so it's basically... Uh... Shall we say... Uh... A cheap option, cost 4. Because the other ones are like, cost 6 or 7. Uh, made one of your Digimon gains on deletion, play this card without paying its memory cost. Any on play effects on Digimon, play this effect, do not activate. Okay, so back for revenge. So this has been the review for the first booster box. It says this video has been getting long enough for now, so this might be a two-parter. I will see you guys in the next video and hope you enjoyed. Let's see you in the next video.